Good morning friends. The normal PSA is 0 to 4. If your PSA comes more than 4, you should not ignore it because any PSA more than 4 can be a sign of prostate cancer. I'm Dr. Ashish Sabawal, urologist, prostate cancer specialist and robotic surgeon in New Delhi, India. In this video, I will give you full details about the PSA test and what to do if the PSA comes high. So what is PSA? PSA is a protein produced by the prostate and it is released into the blood. And the full form of PSA is prostate specific antigen. So it is a antigen, a protein which is produced only by the prostate. Now the normal value in blood of PSA is 0 to 4. If the PSA is more than 4, it can be due to three reasons. First of all, BPH or prostate enlargement, which is a disease of the old age and it is not cancer. Number two, prostate or urine infection. And number three, prostate cancer. Do not take the PSA test lightly. You should understand that like in females, breast cancer is very common. In men, the most common cancer is prostate cancer. So if you have a high PSA, you should definitely do further testing to make sure there is no cancer. So if your PSA comes high more than 4, the first thing is you should repeat the PSA in another more reliable lab. If in the repeat PSA, the test comes normal, then you don't have to worry about the high PSA previously and you should just follow and do PSAs every 3 to 6 months. Now if you do a repeat PSA and it again comes high, the first test is that you have to rule out infection. You should do a urine routine and a urine culture and make sure there is no infection. If infection comes in the urine test and your PSA is high, then treat it with antibiotics and then repeat a PSA after one month. So after urine test, three things can happen. The first, you have a high PSA and you have urine infection and you treat the infection and the PSA comes normal. In this, you don't have to do anything for the just repeat PSA every three to six months. Then another scenario is, that the PSA is high when you do a urine test there is no infection in the urine. In that case you have to do further testing because this could be a sign of prostate cancer. The third scenario is you have done a urine test and the urine test shows infection and you have treated the urine infection and you do a repeat PSA test and still the PSA is high. It has come down from the previous value but still it is high. In this case again you have to do further testing to make sure there is no prostate cancer. So now if you are suspecting that the PSA is high and there is no infection and it could be prostate cancer. The next important tests are one, a digital rectal examination that is examination by an experienced urologist and prostate MRI. The rectal examination will make us feel if there are any abnormal nodules in the prostate which indicate prostate cancer and the MRI will show some abnormal areas in the prostate as well as it will tell us about the seminal vesicles, about the lymph nodes and the bone of the pelvis. So it will give us the whole picture of the whole pelvis. Apart from these, an important test is the prostate biopsy. The prostate biopsy is done by putting an ultrasound probe in the rectum and we take 12 small pieces from the whole prostate and send it for testing and seeing if there is cancer or not. It is a simple test done as outpatient and patient can go home the same day and the biopsy reports come in 5 to 7 days. Now if after the prostate biopsy it comes that there is no cancer, congratulations. But you should stay in close contact with your urologist and repeat your PSA every 6 months to 1 year to make sure that the PSA is not rising and if the PSA is rising, you might need to do another biopsy. If the biopsy shows that there is prostate cancer, so we have to do further testing to stage the cancer. The first test is a PSMA PET CT scan. In the PSA PET CT scan, we are able to know the exact staging of the prostate. Is the cancer localized in the prostate or is the cancer going beyond the prostate into the lymph nodes, into the seminal vesicles, into the bones, into the other organs? So we know the exact staging of the cancer. Now if the cancer on PET CT is localized or locally advanced, but it is not metastatic, that means it is not going beyond the pelvis. So in this, the best treatment is robotic radical prostatectomy with pelvic lymph node dissection. This is an advanced treatment in which by small holes and 3D vision, magnified vision, we are able to remove the whole prostate, seminal vesicles, lymph nodes and there is rapid recovery, minimal blood loss and the patient is cancer free because the whole prostate is removed out of the body. So friends, I hope you understood in this video what to do if your PSA is high. If you are also suffering from high PSA or you are wondering about the prostate biopsy or you want to know about the prostate cancer treatment, you can contact me on email or WhatsApp. My email address and WhatsApp number are given in the description. Thank you.